Adrian Newey. OBE is condemning the entire British media for demonising and discriminating against Max Verstappen. Aston Martin's future technical partner believes that Sky is teetering on the edge of British supremacy with their biased coverage of the Dutchman. Let's hear him out right now. Max Verstappen isn't getting the recognition he truly deserves because he is unfairly cast in a negative light by what Adrian Newey calls nationalistic Formula One coverage on Sky. In a revealing conversation on Jake Humphrey's hit podcast High Performance, Newey shared some compelling insights about his time at Red Bull and offered a fresh perspective on Verstappen's character beyond the track. At one point in the interview, Newey addressed what he sees as unfair portrayals of Verstappen in television coverage, a sentiment he believes applied to Sebastian Vettel as well during his Red Bull dominance. According to Newey, both drivers have been misrepresented with coverage skewing the public's perception of their true characters. He said, From the outside, I'm not sure people fully appreciate and understand Max, just like they didn't with Sebastian. There's this sort of demonisation both of them suffered at times, which is very unfair. And maybe that's also a little bit of the British media, if I'm honest. Sky have a huge influence around the world. Although viewing isn't truly international, their coverage is quite nationalistic, dare I say. And that can have an influence. It's this thing that now with journalism, typically, there is that trend to sort of either put people on a pedestal or knock them down. Newey believes Verstappen operates at a level few in Formula One can match but he acknowledges that the intense pressure of the notorious 2021 championship showdown with Lewis Hamilton did reveal moments where Verstappen might have felt the strain. According to him, Max Verstappen began to feel the pressure, admitting that the Dutchman was a bit out of order that year. As Verstappen and Red Bull mounted their challenge against Hamilton's reign, following four consecutive titles for the Brit, the rivalry intensified. The two title contenders were locked in several heated battles and high-profile collisions with their clashes at Silverstone and Monza, standing out as unforgettable moments in F1 history. Red Bull's now former design mastermind went back to the fierce battle between Verstappen and Hamilton during the 2021 Brazilian Grand Prix. At one point, both drivers veered into the Turn 4 runoff as Hamilton attempted an outside pass, while Verstappen braked late in a desperate defence. Hamilton ultimately made the overtake and secured victory, piling the pressure on Verstappen and Red Bull. According to Newey, Verstappen was lucky to avoid a penalty, finishing the race in P2, trailing Hamilton by 10 and a half seconds. When asked if Verstappen, now a three-time world champion after clinching his first title that year, ever shows signs of cracking under pressure, Newey said, a little bit perhaps in his championship of 2021. Where the intensity, particularly after Silverstone on track between Lewis and Max, became so intense, I think Max had very strong feelings on that Silverstone accident. And, of course, he'd been clear championship leader going into Silverstone, then him out of the race, and then more or less out of the race in Hungary, when he got hit by Valtteri Bottas. Not intentional at all, but still got hit and pretty much hardly scored any points, so gone from easy championship leaders to now feeling a bit more pressure and Mercedes managed to find quite a lot more pace out of their car towards the end of the season. It's always easier for the hunter than the hunted, and Max was starting, I think, to just feel a little bit of pressure from the hunted, hence that he was, in reality, probably lucky not to get a penalty from his driving in Brazil. The Saudi clash, where they had a bit of a ding-dong, that was a little bit more... I think that was not clear, but Max was probably a bit out of order in Brazil, in truth, so I think he was feeling it a bit. And indeed, Checo Perez, it's the usual thing. If the teammate they've been beating suddenly starts to get closer, it's not that suddenly the teammates got better. The 2021 Abu Dhabi season finale remains one of the most contentious moments in Formula One history, with the FIA's mishandling of a safety car restart dramatically shaping the world championship outcome. Yet despite the uproar and the widespread backlash over how Verstappen managed to steal the title from Hamilton on that final lap, Adrian Newey insists the Dutchman remained largely unfazed by the post-race drama. I think, honestly, Max is so self-assured, he said. This is in a positive way, it's not in a negative way. There's arrogance and there is self-assured. Max is not arrogant, but he is very self-assured and self-confident and he's a deep thinker. But he doesn't let things like that, I don't think. They don't really get to him. He's able to shut that off and just get on with his job and get on with his task and do what he loves doing, which is driving racing cars. And when asked if the events got to him, Newey said, No. Actually, I think it got to Mercedes. And instead of saying, OK, well, accepting it and moving on, it started to affect their psyche, which is an interesting one. That's from the outside. And I might be completely wrong.
they just couldn't let it go. Psychologically, they couldn't let it go. Newey also shed light on things most people get wrong about Verstappen, which includes, I think that he's very intelligent and he's got an incredible ability to... It almost feels as if he can drive the car automatically. He doesn't, of course, but he can drive the car and has so much processing power left over that he can then think a lot about how he's driving the car, how he's looking after the tyres, what he might need to do on the settings. Or if he doesn't, if he's not sure, ask GP, race engineer Giampiero Lambiase, on the radio what he should be doing, but highlighting the problems. Right now, Red Bull is facing a tough stretch, with its lead in the Constructors' Championship at risk of slipping away this weekend in Baku. Max Verstappen has stressed the team's priority to get back to the front of the grid and keep their advantage in the intense F1 title battle. The reigning champions have struggled in recent races, failing to secure a victory since the Spanish Grand Prix in June. Their once comfortable lead has now shrunk to just seven points over McLaren in the constructors' standings, putting added pressure on Red Bull to bounce back. Red Bull had a disappointing outing at Monza, where Max Verstappen finished in sixth place, tying his worst result of the season. The disappointing finish added to the team's recent struggles as they fight to regain their dominant form. I have been back in the factory with the team this week and on the sim ahead of the double header, Verstappen said. Monza was a tough race and it is our priority to get our form back to where it needs to be. We always want to be more competitive and the team has been working hard to improve the issues we have been seeing with the car from the past few races. This weekend marks the return of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, a race where Max Verstappen has only claimed victory once in his Formula One career. As the championship battle heats up, all eyes will be on whether Verstappen can add another Baku triumph to his record. We are now back to the flyaways with this first race returning to Baku, the Dutchman added. It is always a good challenge coming here and is an interesting track to drive being a street circuit with long straights, so we are ready to get back racing again and see what the weekend brings. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has revealed that the balance issues plaguing the team's 2024 Formula One car were evident even during their dominant performance last season. The core of the problem lies in the imbalance between the front and rear of the RB20, a limitation that became particularly apparent during the recent Monza race. Horner shared with the media, I think on other circuits, perhaps running more downforce hides some of the balance issues we have. You can see that we have a disconnection imbalance that just isn't working, and as soon as you end up in that situation, you're harder on tyres, you end up compensating, you move the balance around. You secure one problem and create another, so you just end up in a vicious circle. Horner believes that the RB20's balance issues were apparent not only at the start of the 2024 season, but also in the data from last autumn's United States Grand Prix in Austin. I think it's been there for some time. I think actually really going through the data, there were issues there at the beginning of the year in the characteristics. Others have obviously made a step, and as we've pushed the package harder, it's exposed the issue, Horner said. Even if you go back in the data, there were a few races last year where we started to see this, in Austin and so on. It's a characteristic we know we have to address and it's full focus at the factory to do that. Would you say that the British media casts an unfavourable light on non-British racers? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.